Hey there, YouTube. Just a quick tutorial for you. I'm using Auto Maya, Autodesk Maya 2014 student version, 64-bit. Um, it's going to be a really quick basic animation. It's just going to be rotation. And we're really, really going to focus on how to change keyframes and a little information about that. So, uh, this is just a four-way tire iron that I modeled up in SolidWorks and imported over. So, we go ahead. It's in uh, rendering just regular quality. So, let's actually bump that up to high quality rendering. Um, not much, not a huge change just for something like this, but whatever. So I'll go, go ahead and click on our object here. We're going to go to our attribute editor, move this first tab over here, and I, I already have it translated, um, all the translation are zero. Now let's go ahead and set our rotations all to zero. Um, and holding the alt key and the left mouse button, we're just going to rotate this around. Hit the A key to center, and let's just move this, there we go, close enough. So, now when we press this, uh, you know, there's like nothing on here, so we hit the W key, and this is going to show us our, uh, the ability to move this up, down, left, right, whatever, um, control Z that, just put it back at center. We're going to, so normally, you know, it'll just let you move, um, you can just hit this to make it move in one direction, um, but if you hold down the D key, it'll give you, let you change your center point, and we're going to center it, roughly center, um, let's see, I can't really tell that well how center is, but we'll see, just eyeballing it, it was way off. So we're gonna go ahead and we can rotate this around, see where we are. See, note how my center point is way out here. And we don't, we obviously don't want that. Let's move that in a little bit. You know what, let's control see that. Let's just grab one side, um, holding D, and move it in towards center. You know, that, that's really good eyeballing. Um, kind of ballpark method. Otherwise, we can hit the space bar with to bring up this four-way viewing point. Hit the A key over here, change the rendering settings to high quality, click on it, zoom in a little bit, and see, you know, you can fine-tune it for more detailed animations. That looks about right. It's A key over here, render high quality, and again, doesn't look too bad. Click on this, uh, this square down here, again, A key, Rendering high quality, and oh, well, I have it selected there. We'll just zoom in a little bit, you know, and that looks about centered to me. So, I'll go back here, hit the space bar. Now, let's just rotate around and see this at a little different skewed angle. Okay, that looks about center. That looks good to me. Um, go ahead and hit A key, center this piece. Um, so down here is your timeline. Right now, this represents 24, which is this right here. That shows that we have 24 frames set up here. Um, 48 is our max timeline. So let's go ahead, you know, that's 48 is fine. Um, but we're just, let, I want to see the entire timeline. So we're just going to click and drag this with your left mouse key. And this is going to be your first frame. We're just going to do a simple rotation. So let's go ahead, first frame, hit the S key, and see this little red bar pops up. And we get this result uh, of 10. That means we made a keyframe. So let's go to frame 12 and make another keyframe. So let's go ahead with just rotate this 90 degrees, that looks fine. Um, and let's go ahead and make sure the object that you want uh, animated is selected, and we're going to hit the S key again, and that'll make a new keyframe. And so actually, for the purpose of the, this tutorial, let's just pop this down to 20. Um, and note, I, because I didn't don't have the object selected, there are no red bars here, which means that there's no keyframe set for the overall scene. But when we click on the object, we get our two red bars. And Maya does this great job of doing in-between animations. And look, we just slide across to 12. There we go. Let's make a second keyframe here at 20. Um, let's make this 180 degrees. And make sure the object is selected and hit the S key again. So let's go ahead and play this animation. There we go. And normally, uh, if you don't, haven't changed the settings yet, there's this little button down here, which is your animation preferences. If you click on this, uh, note that I have it set to real time, um, 24 frames per second, which is, you know, pretty standard um, for what you're going to do for a lot of animations. However, if you haven't changed this setting yet, it'll be set at play every frame. So if we save that, this is what it'll look like. It'll basically process it as fast as your computer can process it. And right now, because I'm running Camtasia, and I'm running Maya, and I've got a couple of other processes running, um, oh, see? See, now that it's picking up speed, it, 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 oh, there we go. It's basically taken off. So let's go ahead and stop that and set it back. Animation preferences, set it back to real time. 
Um, I, I always leave mine in real time. It's pretty much what you're going to probably want it in. Um, unless you just need to get done really quick. And then, not too bad. Alright. Um, go ahead and we'll go to file. And we will save our scene. We're just going to save it on the desktop in my tutorials folder. Um, and this is my binary file. You know, um, so just let's see. Four way tire iron Maya tutorial. And save it and go ahead and continue. Um, Alright, well, thanks for watching.